guys, basic sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Please check out sidekickmediaservices.com, sorgatronmedia.com. One's for the services that we do, the other's is for the shows that we make. That's how I want to describe that from now on. I want to talk about video. I know. Again, it's kind of my thing. Uh, but uh, no, I want to talk about kind of a passion for video. And 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 I think one thing you need to think about. Um, so I do a lot of shoots around all over the place. Um, okay, maybe not as much as I used to, but uh, you know, I've done a lot of shoots all over the place for a lot of different things. I'm talking political debates. I'm talking um, medical research presentations for donor consideration. Um, I'm talking about uh, the sewage treatment uh, plans of the city of Pittsburgh and nonprofits of uh, everything from uh, matters women's shelters to food uh, uh, food shelters to to homeless shelters to to guys that do parasailing over the over the point. Um, and one consistent thing is, I, they, you know, I, I'm really big on the idea that you need to. I, I kind of ask this of, of, of some of my videographers. Um, when we're doing some of these shoots and I say, are you having fun doing this? Um, what they're doing editing for me, are you having fun doing the editing? And that's been kind of a key thing for me. And I, one, I want the people that work with me, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm not able to uh, get a good enough gig to pay them what I think they're worth. Um, and I want to make sure they're at least having fun doing the thing that I put up, put in front of them. You know, and a lot of them, in a lot of the cases, they're they're in a good spot there, and and they're pretty happy with with with, that, with how that's going. But sometimes, hey, the paying ones a lot are are not something as fun as say a pro wrestling show, right? Or 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 parasailing parasailing over the, the 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 point in Pittsburgh. There's a lot of peas in there, and I'm missing my pop folder. Um, but uh, so. You know, you were doing some of these sessions, and and like I said, a lot of these presentations that I've done over the years, and you really do have to find um, the interest in the subject in front of you. Uh, why do I say that? I, I I think I think we've all not we've all done this, but uh, I think a lot of times you see this uh, if you are at an event and you see somebody shooting it, whether it be a wedding with a videographer whether it be a dance recital with a videographer, whether it be a wrestling show sometimes with a videographer um, or, or some other media team. I think the um, want and interest in the subject matter is going to influence the product that's put to the lens. Did I illustrate that enough for you? I think that if you... Don't give a crap about the thing on the other side uh, that you're shooting, even if it's just a dull presentation. Um, that is going to be reflected in what you do, be it with the edit, be it with the uh, shoot, um, as much as you try. Now, yeah, you can be professional, and you're going to do things a certain way, and you're going to grin and bear it and whatever, but I think there needs to be a certain point where you're looking for that interesting spot. You're looking for something interesting in that in that presentation, and that needs to kind of drive you to the next thing. Now, I've had plenty of shoots where it has nothing to do with the presentation. Maybe I'm sick, you know. Maybe I've been standing for too long. Maybe it's something else. Maybe I got something worried on my brain. And and again, I, and and that reflects in the performance I do behind the camera. But I'm juggling a couple of them because I'm doing a one person two camera shoot. And I'm, I insanely probably underprice and 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 do. Um, or, or something else, you know, uh, for instance, recently I just did, um, a pretty cool, um, educational thing, uh, where they're talking about microscopes and they actually had a microscope and it was projected onto a screen. I haven't seen microscope technology forever. So this is, is this what they're using in schools these days? Cause it was pretty cool to see a little microbe organisms, uh, up there in the screen, like really huge. I know I sound like such, a, I love science. I have NASA pictures, if this, then that, into my inbox because I want to. I get notifications when the International Space Station is over top of me, okay? Um, which happens a lot. It's very strange. I need the, the physics of that explained to me. Um, and uh, so, I, you know, I, I kind of went into it and saying, man, you know, okay, take a step back. This is kind of like, hey, this is like, this is like back in science class. And do you remember how much you love that, you know, loved uh, the microscope portion of, of, of science class, right? 
and thinking about those little things. Or even uh, watched Ant Man a couple weeks ago and saw the little microbe thing when he was shrinking spoiler too small and into into super microness. Um, and even that the fact that like uh, looking at those things move around on the slide on this big screen reminded me of the game Spore, at least the iPhone version of it that I had, where you'd be one of those little microbe thingies and you were swimming around and evolving and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I found my interest in that. I found like some interesting stuff to shoot, you know, regardless of, you know, how the, the event was going. Um, you know, it, you know, you're just kind of finding your spots and finding that interest and finding a different angle on things. Um, and I think, like I said, I think that's really important. I try to instill that in the people that work with me. And I'm hoping that I'm instilling that and, and showing that off um, a little bit to the people around me when I'm working, when I'm doing my job, uh, which is, 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 is shooting the video and getting and, and capturing that as best as I can, um, which is always the case. So just a little bit of that. And I think that, hey, you know what? That's something about, uh, I, 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 I saw an article today. I think it was a Gary Vaynerchuk one about the four things to fix in your company. It's on his Medium uh, account, medium.com account. And strangely, I didn't share this one. But um, it was about finding passion in your workers and figuring out what motivates them. And I know when I was not passionate anymore about the job I did, my work suffered. I didn't give a crap about how good it did, you know. And that's just the spot I was in, you know. I had some stuff going on. And especially in a creative field, oh, that's bad. That's real bad. You know, in a creative field where you have to worry about quality, it doesn't work, you know, and how do you keep that up? And what is motivating the person being there? And sometimes a paycheck is not enough. Oftentimes, the paycheck is not enough. What else is there to do that thing? And uh, I think that's a, a really big consideration about what you're doing, how you're doing it, while you're, why you're doing it, and who's doing it around you as well. So with that, let me know what you think about the passion side of things. Um, basic Sorgonomics, Sorgatron.com, Sorgatron on Twitter. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatronmedia.com.